Um, the other thing that I wanted to, to mention was this thing about atheists can't know the difference between right and wrong. And I have a problem with, with that idea because if that was true, the prison system would be absolutely chock full of atheists and it's not. Well, he addressed that uh, at the beginning of the show. Yeah, because atheists um, but can, I just want, atheists I just want know, to... Atheists can know right and wrong. They can't justify their right and their wrong as being actual right and wrong. That's the issue. Well, I, I think they can. No, um, because... I think they can. Because everybody can work on empathy. We can use Why is empathy, empathy the right standard? Are you going to let me actually finish what I wanted to say or are you going to keep just jumping in? Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll store up the questions and then see if you can answer them oh, when I give them all to you at once. Okay, so go ahead. No, I, I mean, I think the problem is you're, you're not actually allowing me to make my point. So therefore, you, you never know my what I'm going to say is going to maybe answer one of your questions. He, he so just, what he, I'm saying Fiona, is, Fiona, he just said he's going to take notes so that he, he'll remember yes. what, what he wants to ask you. Yes, and then he'll throw all the questions at me in one go. I'm not trying to be difficult here. What I'm saying is that with empathy, um, people are able to judge. I wouldn't like that done to me, so I won't do it to somebody else. And that, working just on purely empathy, brings you to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Now, that is coming from the Bible. But that's not the point I'm making. Empathy and being able to put yourself in the other person's shoes and say, I wouldn't like it done to me, so I won't do it to someone else, is enough to give you the idea of what is right and what is wrong, regardless of whether you accept do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Because many people call it the golden rule. Treat others as you want to be treated. Um, and I don't see why atheism should preclude the use of empathy. It's, it's a very human um, emotion. It's part of us being humans. And I think we, we, we may sometimes lose sight of the power of empathy. And then when you make statements that atheists can't know right from wrong, you are saying if they don't accept the Bible, they don't have this rule book against which to judge themselves. But what they are judging themselves against is their empathic feeling for others. So they're using a different yardstick. But it doesn't mean it's, it, it's going to end up giving you <clears throat> completely the wrong idea. I, mean, I think just about every atheist would, would say, well, they don't want to be murdered, they're not going to murder. They don't want to be raped, they're not going to be raping anybody. They don't want to be robbed, they won't rob anybody. Because they know how it would feel if it happened to them. And it's this human ability to put yourself into somebody else's shoes. And we're all able to do it. And we should all do it a lot more often. And it's something that we don't do. And especially um, when we're talking on uh, YouTube or G+, or Facebook, 
when we are behind a screen, we are not dealing with a person in real life. And too often, we don't stop and think about the one on the other side as a real person and put ourselves in their shoes. Does that make sense? You repeated yourself. Oh, can I speak now? Are you done? I'm making sure. I don't want to offend you. I don't want to, you know, you said you wanted to just get your word out. Are you, are you done so I can get in there? I guess you're not done. Okay, I'll wait for you. I don't know why you're being so combative here. I'm not. Um, you said you wanted to be able to finish everything. I don't know if you're finished. I'm just asking for verification. That's all. Yeah, but, but but tone says it all, really, and the condescension Are isn't required. And I'm not very happy that you would treat a sister in Christ like that. Thank you very I much for that. Yes, really I am are. finished. You're finished. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. 